Hey, y'all, Grown Black Folks Talk, taking advantage of the calm before the storm to get out, get some walking in, and also to make types of people to leave in 2022. Part six, people who need you to be their personal Jesus. In other words, people who are grown folks requiring you to save them. Now, I picked that example for a reason. Whether or not you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you are familiar with his chief claim. We're coming up to Christmas. God in the flesh. The, the privileges of infinite immortality in an actual human being. The problem becomes when people begin to treat you as though you have the powers and the principles and the abilities of infinite immortality in their situation. Instead of going to the one who actually can help them. When mortality gets into the situation of trying to do immortality's job, mortality is destroyed. Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin thought they were rolling hard. Donald Trump thought he was rolling hard at the beginning of 2020. He was enjoying the worship of his constituents and was sure he was going to roll in for a second term. Where is he now? Vladimir Putin was rolling hard at the beginning of 2022. Now his people around him are leaking him, falling downstairs and losing control of his innards. When immortality seeks to have the rights of God, when mortality seeks to do this, it falls. Even finite immortality. Uh, there, <laughs> Satan is a spirit being who has a beginning but has an eternal spiritual existence. He's not doing too well with that, although he certainly is in charge of this world system. But you look at all the empires he used to run that are no more. I'm just saying. When, when finite attempts to have the privileges of the infinite, the finite gets messed up. But finite mortality, which is human beings, we thoroughly get messed up. Now, there's another way, there's a back door into this. Most of my viewers are black women, and I do have some regular black men viewers. Let me say this off rip. There is statistical and anecdotal and legal evidence that we have situations where black men seek to use black women this way, but there also is the phenomenon of son husbands, where black women have trained men just like black men have socialized black women, that they only exist in service to women. There are men who exist like that. Dr. T. Hassan, Dr. T. Hassan Johnson of the Onyx Report talks about the phenomenon of the concu surf and also the, the, con, the, the phenomenon of the son-husband. So this does happen both ways. But these basically are, in a very broken community, it is a high incident of what are called codependent relationships and these codependent relationships have a weakness such that the other person has to fill that gap instead of both people growing and being healthily interdependent because again we're finite mortality we're never going to be perfect people don't fix their stuff they expect that other person to compensate they expect that other person to save them now the irony about this is particularly terrible for black men because they have a little movement. And I say little not disrespectfully, but I'm saying this is not the majority. This is not even a plurality. I mean that it is numerically small. Called SYSBM, Save Yourself Black Man. Basically it boils down to get your life together, get your passport and go somewhere where you can be respected and loved and worshiped. The challenge with this is as follows. Well, let me go with, before I get to the challenge. I actually, looking at this objectively, support this. And there's two reasons I support it. Number one, any man who doesn't want to be here and be with a black woman, please leave. Because we have black men who do not want to do that, who are killing black women four times a day. The less people there are who are frustrated, who are abusing black women and children, the less people there are here that are frustrated and really want to be somewhere else and do something different, more power to them. I'm not going to lose anything. Provided the Lord has a husband for me, I will not miss him because God actually, Jesus actually can do what he promises. And in 165 million men, I think I'm going to be okay in the United States. I also have my passport. So, there's 8 billion people in the world. I'm going to be alright. I can look at it that way. But also, 
here's the thing about becoming SYSPM or a passport pro. You do know that you have to clean up any child support payments that you have, and you have to clear any warrants before the State Department will actually let you do that. So this means that men who are involved in SYSPM are actually quietly doing the things that we keep saying as black women they need to do. They have to slow their roll on felonious behavior. They have to actually pay up their child support up to a certain amount. Because you have to look at the arrearages that you have. You cannot have arrearages. You cannot have open warrants and be able to go anywhere. The United States is going to make you pay all your debts. If you are going to leave the United States, there is an exit tax. So, in reality, SYSPM is not a bad thing because it is encouraging black men to get their lives together on a higher level. And some of them may realize in the process of doing this that they don't actually, well, if you need the kind of worship that white men get in the Eurocentric society, yeah, you will have to leave. That's not going to happen here. But, and no black woman here, we've talked about this, is going to be able to compensate you for that fact ever the gap is too big so you still if i mean i listen to black men talk about they want to be somewhere where their image is on the money go for it but the process of knowing that you can manage your life and you can get your life together and you can clear up the problems that you have is important and actually good because once you've done that you might just realize that the problem was not everybody around you the problem is you didn't know yet how to get your life together and once you solve the problem of knowing how to get your life together, maybe you can stop being mad at everybody else. Huh? Now, this does not mean, however, that any of these men, even if they stay, will be eligible bachelors. Well, say the majority. We don't know of any. The problem with this thinking is they need something external to them. I mean, broadly external to them to be inspired to do what they should be doing anyway. This goes back to the second-handed problem. In other words, there's no firm internal sense of what should be done because it is the right thing to do. They have to have a vision of another place and another time and another group of women to do what they should do by their own women and children anyway. That's still a second-hander. But here's the thing about second-handers. You can't fix them anyway. You cannot be their personal Jesus. So this is a particular subset. Women who feel like the best they can do is having a, a son-husband, that's another version of a second-hander because she does not believe that over the course of a lifetime in a world with four billion people, she does not believe that she is able to do the work necessary to have a man of her own. This is a second-hander again because they need some external vision to themselves to do the work they need to do on themselves. Second-handers are exhausting. They will eat you alive. You will never be able to inspire a second-hander enough to substitute for that lack of internal willingness to do the work and get their life together. Ever. That has to come from within. So, one more thing with this. Black women, ladies, we have been conditioned to compensate. We have been conditioned to try to make up for the failure of the men. And as I shared in a video about the abandonment trauma and the trauma bonding of black men, this cannot be done. So you must extract yourself from this habit. If you think your only value comes from doing for other people, you also are codependent. You need to do some work on yourself. You need to do some therapy. You need to do some life coaching. You need to get a life too. You have to break this habit in order to be free from continuing the cycle. And like I said, there are some black men who are son husbands. You have been conditioned to think that your value comes from doing something for a woman. This archetype is sometimes known as the simp. Y'all didn't think I knew about that, huh? This archetype is sometimes known as the simp. The simpleton who thinks that if he does enough for a woman, she'll love him. No, that's not how that works, because love is a choice. 
And if someone is intent on using them, using you as their slave, it does not matter how much you do for them. If you're not clear on how that works, may I refer you to the period of American history between 1619 and 1865. We put down the fundamental capital of an entire country. Where is the love? I ask you. Not we. Correction. Our ancestors. I told y'all I got to stop doing that because we have to stop trauma bonding with our ancestors on this. No, we're not living there. We're not slaves. But our ancestors put down the fundamental capital for a nation. Do their children get any love commensurate to what our ancestors put in? The answer is no. The United States was in a co-dependent relationship with slavery then. It's time to break the trap. Do not be people's personal Jesus. I don't care if they have a country, a life, and a family, and they don't know how to build it, and they think you were going to be a savior. You are not Jesus, and Jesus is not you. Whether you believe on him as savior or not is not the point. You do not have the privilege to be the immortal infinite and fix people who, who have no internal desire to do their work. That's why you have to step away, because your finite mortality will be destroyed trying to do what they will not go to infinite immortality to help them do. Stop trying to be people's personal savior. There is Jesus is there for that. Leave that habit. Leave the habits of codependency. Get your work done. I will leave the comments in the description so you can get your therapy and life coaching appointments before the new year. So you start out right. Leave the habits of feeling like you have to do this in this year and go into next year and leave all the people that want to use you this way behind in 2022. This will save your life. All right. Y'all have a good day now. Don't get yourself confused with Jesus out here. Don't, don't, don't let people put you in that position. Don't do that. That's not you. It's okay to let people save themselves. SYSBP, let them learn how to have a life themselves. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.